What's up, YouTube? Um, I had a really good idea for a helpful video for people who want to get better at arm wrestling. So I'm going to cover something that I haven't heard people talk about before, but it will be very useful. And uh, just as a disclaimer, uh, I'm not one of these guys that has a bunch of trophies. I'm not a national champion, a state champion. I'm not any kind of champion. I'm just a guy that loves arm wrestling. I've been doing this a really long time. I started when I was 18 and I'm 32 now. So that's what, like 14 years. Um, and if you've trained with me in the past year, you've noticed that I made a lot of progress and I am now able to handle a lot of guys that are bigger and stronger than me. But um, the way that that occurred is just by this one thing and that is Focus on what you are bad at. So it's very, very difficult to separate the ego from uh, the game or the activity when we're talking about arm wrestling. And a lot of guys, you know, have a chip on their shoulder about so-and-so beat them or they can't beat so-and-so or whatever. Just let, let all that go and, you know focus on the practicing aspect and the thing that you need to do is do the direction you are weakest in so arm wrestling arm wrestling has three moves as you know it's like a rock paper scissors type thing there's hooking which is going in like that there's top roll which is going out like that and there's press, which is either just going straight down or giving up your wrist and pushing down. So each, one, each movement is strong against another movement. There's only three, you know, with some weird exceptions that, that you don't need to worry about. So every single person, and you, it doesn't matter if you've been doing this for years and years and years and years or if you're brand new. In fact, this is going to be even better if you're a real young person, if you're real young and you want to get good at arm wrestling, all you need to do is go to, you know, probably only, even after the first practice, you're going to realize where you're weak. As soon as you start gripping up with people and they're applying pressure, you're going to feel what direction you, you are just useless in. Okay. And you're, but you're also going to have one direction that you're really strong in. So that's just due to genetics or your job or how you lift weights, but everyone's going to have one direction. They're just really, they feel great in, and then they're going to have another direction that they just feel like, you know, a wet paper towel in. So the most, the most common error, the most common mistake people make, and I was guilty of this too as a long, for a long, long time, because, you know, as a young man, it's hard to separate the ego from the activity or what you're trying to get good at. So I, you know, I was very, very strong in the press. The side, my side pressure was just insane, ridiculous, but everything else sucked. And it's hard to, it's hard to do what you suck at, right? It's not fun. But if you do that, you're going to see immense, immense gains. And that's because our, that's because linear progress. Anyone who knows anything about strength sports or, you know, anything really, this is applicable to anything, but let's just focus on arm wrestling. Linear linear gains or linear progress where the graph line is just going up, 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 that's impossible. That's a fairy tale. But this does make it possible, and that's because you're not going to continually focus on one aspect of strength. If you do that, you're going to get diminishing results pretty quickly like uh let's say your goal is to bench press 405 naturally without steroids and that's a huge goal and that could take you 10 years maybe more maybe less you know it's a big 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 goal so let's say you do that and you're going to be on cloud nine and you're going to feel great you're going to quickly find out that there's diminishing gains you're gonna all of a sudden you're gonna be back to 365 and you're going to be like, what's happening? I'm weaker. You didn't get weaker. It's just the, the, the gains cannot continually go up. The only, the only workaround for that is this, basically, which is work on what you're bad at. And when you work on those things that you're bad at or the antagonistic 
side of things, you know, the opposite of what you want to be good at. Basically, you do that and then it, it puts all the puzzle pieces together. And that 100% happened for me. I mean, if, you, if you've arm wrestled me within the last year, you know that I've gotten really, really, really good. And this is the only reason why is because I just blasted top roll for a few years. You know, I only focused on top roll because that was my by far weakest element of my arm wrestling game was my top roll. So I really focused heavily on that. And I got really, really good. And I think anyone can do that. And it's especially going to be better if you're young. If you're if you're in your early 20s and you've never arm wrestled before and you want to be good, go to an arm wrestling practice, arm wrestle with the dudes. They're going to explain the three moves to you again like I just did, hook, top roll, and press. Find which one of those you're terrible at and then only do that. And you're going to you're going to be amazed at what happens. And it's the complete opposite of what people do because you know <laughs> <coughs> Arm wrestling, one of the things I actually love about arm wrestling is that it's like a, I don't want to down it or make it sound bad, but it's like a sport for, for misfits. You know, it's a sport for people who have been battered. And if you talk to anyone who does it, you're going to hear a horror story, basically, you know, something happened to them that prevented them from doing what they wanted to do. So they switched to arm wrestling. It's actually one of the things that's really cool about it. But one of the bad things about that is that it gives you an excuse. And as soon as you start hooking up with guys and pulling with guys, you're going to hear, I can't hook because, you know, when I was 17, I was in 13 plane crashes. Like, and it's cool. I get it. Like, me too. I've, I've been in some stuff that's like heinous and that's, you know, why I'm like who I am. But we don't want to always use that as an excuse, you know. Even if, even if you're just weak as weak as weak in the hook, you can still get a band. This one's kind of actually hard. This is an elite FTS band. But even if you're terrible in the hook, like I am right now, like my strength became my weakness because I did it so long. So I need to go back and work on my weakness again. So even if you're terrible, you can still get a band and put a little bit of, little bit of pressure in there, you know, warm the tendons up, warm the ligaments up, get blood in there. Even if you're legitimately injured in an area, you can still work it a little bit. And uh, it it this also prevents injury, honestly. And you're going to see it even more with guys that are heavily roided up. They have done this even more. They've ne completely neglected other areas of their game and completely focused on their dominant traits. And the reason that's dangerous is because eventually you're going to get sucked into a move or tricked into a move you don't want to be in, and you're going to injure yourself. And then, uh, you know, you'll wish you trained the other things. And that's happened to me, too. You know, I got real good at some, at uh, a, pre a pressing movement, but I neglected training lower back. Or, you know, you need to do the whole thing. And the interesting thing that's applicable to, you know, Every realm of life is that you will, you know, if you, if you study the personal life of a successful person, you're going to find out that they, you know, sun up to sundown are doing something. There's no point where they're just sitting on the couch, not doing something. So, you know, apply, <coughs> since this is an arm wrestling video, apply that to your arm wrestling game. You should never just be stagnant. You should never be regressing and if you are it's 100% because you're not doing this so let's try to not make excuses let's uh get good at what we want to get good at and don't forget it's just a game so that's part of separating the ego from the activity it's just a game and uh treat it like that and it'll it will help you know hopefully people aren't taking it too seriously, you know, just imagine it's like chess or wiffle ball or something, just a game and work at what you're bad at. And, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say on it. Uh, oh yeah. I, sorry. This video was really boring to watch. Hopefully you didn't watch. Hopefully you just listened. <laughs> but, uh, last time I uploaded a rant video, someone complained that I was pacing too much. So I don't want to detract from the quality of the video or make you focus on me pacing <laughs> so all right that's all i got uh love y'all stay blessed 
uh, praise God, you know, be good to your family, be good to the people you love. And uh, I'll try to reply to comments if someone disagrees or agrees or whatever. And uh, have a great day. Bye.